Apparently, Nita, what is this? These are slim kale chalk style switches. These are very uh, low profile switches compared to most MX style uh, keycap and switches. Um, and we've got a little breakout that we designed for them. Um, this one has a NeoPixel that goes through. Let me show it. It's got a socket so you can uh, connect either linear or clicky style. There's that uh, glow through NeoPixel. And then uh, you know, your keycaps as well. And then we've got a diode so you can matrix these and breakouts all over the place uh, so you can um, breadboard these very easily. So an update to our existing MX compatible Neo key. Uh, this is the Neo key chalk. Chalk, 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 chalk. All right, Ada, what is this? This is my new updated tester for our Feather RP2040 with RFM 9X LoRa. Um, I did this board before and I had this module kind of like dangling off these pins here and I wanted to clean it up a little bit. And one of the things I added to our Brains tester board is uh, this iSpy connector. And this has SPI and I2C and lots, lots of GPIO. So it's like got way more pins than just these because it's a tightly packed uh, connector. And then over here you see I have a LoRa module and this antenna and this antenna are coaxial. And so uh, when I put this board down, and I do the test, um, the RP2040 programs the client board, the uh, Feather, and then communicates with the LoRa module, uh, sending data back and forth at hello world, and makes sure that the um, signal strength is correct. So this is a nice fast test for our new Feather LoRa boards. All right, Lady, what's this? This is me uh, testing out our Seesaw NeoPixel driver. So this is a board that connects over I squared C, and it has a ATtiny816 here. And then there's terminal blocks to connect to NeoPixels. So here I've got one wired up to this extremely long, well, there's a lot of pixels, it's not physically long, but a lot of pixels, like 200 pixels per meter LED strip. And it's being uh, controlled over I squared C using Python 3. So we've got a circuit Python library and it's doing all these NeoPixel animations. And what's interesting is that yes, you know, this is a Raspberry Pi and we could run NeoPixel directly from it, but because this is I squared C, this will work on any single board computer or device, even if it doesn't have a NeoPixel BitBang um, timing support, you can just send the commands over I squared C and it's converted to NeoPixels. And that's top secret of the week.